Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. Sometime within the first week of June, I have been trying out a smaller bag. This is the smaller bag, which I have also shown in a previous vlog, which I will link down below. This is a hand-me-down from an aunt. This is a Rebecca Minkoff. And I believe the material is a coated canvas or some kind of fabric that is coated with a thick rubbery material. It has beige, beige and navy blue stripes and it looks worn because it has some stains right here which we could not get off even though we washed the outside material with some soap and water. I think this is also color transfer from clothes. But that's alright, I don't really mind. I like the look of this bag. It has no closure but it has two straps that can be joined together to cinch the bag to give it a more streamlined look. And I have been trying out this bag like I said since around the first week of June so I have only very few items here which I just tossed into this bag when I had to step out very very quickly like to buy some medicines. And this is after I have been carrying a, a very large tote, this large tote as an everyday carry since December of 2021. I have some what's in my bag videos featuring this large tote, which I will link down below. And I did explain my reason in a video why I carry around so much stuff. I will link that video down below. It's just a video short. But now that reason does not exist anymore, I finally decided to use this smaller Rebecca Minkoff as my actual everyday carry and not just something that I can bring for super quick errands out of the house. And I did. I did it. I have been giving it a field test every day as an everyday carry, the latest of which was when I went to the land transportation office to get my car's registration renewed. And the size actually works. I have here inside everything I need except for the disc bound life notebook, my disc bound planner, my Kindle Touch, which I never really used when I'm out and about, and some of my toiletries and self care in bottles. So this works. And now let me show you what I actually have in here. I have my AirPods in a case with a clasp that I keep attached to one of the straps of the bag just to make sure that I don't lose this because it's so small. Next I have this plastic envelope that contains all of the papers that I need to carry around to make sure I don't lose them or get them all crumpled and messed up. This is my disc bound wallet which I made myself. I have some process videos of how I made this and I will link them down below. Next is this small zippered pouch with a silicone bracelet that I have attached and this contains all of my paper currencies and coins just for quick access when I have to pay for something while I am out and about. I also have wet wipes and a pack of dry tissue. And these are my fit over sunglasses. I super love these because I don't like being out in the bright sunlight much, but sometimes I have to go out in daylight. These are designed to literally fit over any prescription eyeglasses. The stems are wider to cover the stems of your eyeglasses. Notice that this doesn't have nose pads so that it can sit flush on top of your eyeglasses. And on top of the fit over sunglasses there is a little ledge that sits on top of your eyeglasses so that it doesn't slide down on your face. Some fit over sunglasses have windows here on the stem to help with peripheral vision but mine doesn't but in my experience with these I have had no problems with peripheral vision because the stems are comparatively slim compared to the ones with the wider stems that need a window. This is my body spray from Bath and Body Works and this is my sunscreen. This is my favorite now. This is just a spray bottle of alcohol disinfectant. This is my toothbrush which is battery operated. I always take out the batteries when the toothbrush is not in use and I was also able to fit a small tube of toothpaste in here. This is a case of disposable straws because I have sensitive teeth. And by the way, my toothpaste is the one for sensitive teeth. I have the full sized tube of this toothpaste at home. I have two battery packs an old face mask that I need to throw out, and also some tissues that also need to be thrown out. And here is my iPhone cable. There is nothing more in the main compartment at this point. 
Inside the zippered pocket, I have a bunch of paper bills, some of my pictures for ID cards that I have to submit to the government, a receipt, a loyalty card, and some coins, and a paper clip. And I also have an ordinary ballpoint pen, which I need when I am filling out those government forms, and a permanent marker pen for when I am filling out the plastic packaging for things that I have to mail out. In the other pockets, I have my eyeglasses in a hard case. I actually only wear these eyeglasses for when I am driving. I use a different pair when I am at home or when I am not the one driving. Fisherman's friend lozenges and my hormone medication. Now, I just discovered that there are some ants in my bag and that is because they were able to get into one of the sugar-coated pills in here. I must have accidentally punctured the blister here so the ants were able to get into the sugar coating of this one particular pill. This is my charging cable for my Apple Watch. I have another cable that's permanently at home. And finally, this is my favorite lip balm. On the strap, I have attached a triangular carabiner. I can actually no longer find the link where I bought this, but if I do find out, I will just add it to the description box. And this carabiner is where I attached my key holder, which has this personal alarm. I have unboxed a black version of this personal alarm in my channel, and I will link it down below. And now this bag is finally empty. Let me just turn it inside out and clean out all of the remaining tiny pieces of trash inside and then we can put everything back in again. As for this pack of pills, I am just going to cut off the line with a punctured blister and remove the offending part later. Maybe I'll just throw it away. For now, I will keep the sealed part in my bag for sure the ants are not going to get to this anymore. So far, I am liking the size, like I said, and I have realized that if we have a small bag, which means we only put in less stuff, there is actually no need to use an organizer inside the bag. I have been using this for a couple of weeks like this in this way without an organizer, and I have always been able to quickly find what I needed from inside the bag. My only problem is that the straps are too short. It is comfortable, but it's way too short. It is a tote, and I can place this over my shoulder, like what we do with totes. But sometimes I have a hard time getting it off and on my shoulder using just one hand when I, or slipping one of the straps off my shoulder so that I could get into the bag. But that is a minor thing. I can make it work. I am surprised that I am actually enjoying carrying around a smaller bag as my everyday carry. When I do go out for errands, I just take a picture of my planner page for that day where the list is and follow my list from the photo. And it is quite convenient that way. And that is my video for you today. Thanks for watching. Bye.